I'm really, really fat, chamon. Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. Yes, we've made it back from the mall quite proficiently, might I add. I'm gonna see how these zucchines are doing. Obviously, I have a, a lot of space to plant, but I have not planted much at all here. Uh, I guess they're not ready. They're young. Young zucchines. Well, at least they're well watered. I'll take that. I'll buy that for a dollar. Climb through. Uh, can we climb through there? My hand is not working. Oh god. Am I gonna have to break down a wall? Climb through. Go on. Do it. Do it. And I also tried to remove the battery on accident. Whoops. I need that lamp. That's a good lamp. That's a fine lamp. I kind of do want to go back to the mall. Um, we cleared it out a little bit, and without carrying around all my shotguns and shit, I have a lot more space to fit things. But again, it's kind of a dangerous prospect. I'm not too sure if that's a, a good idea or not. Really, I, I kind of know that it's not. But I'm feeling a little thirsty, so we'll stop off in this here house. Oh, and it is broken as fuck in here. Well, we better be careful. We better be careful in anything we do. That's just how it goes. Hey, bro. I seen you coming. Nice of you to stop by, fucko. Yeah. I wonder if there's another pharma hug or something like that. <clears throat> I'm not uh, completely sure of the layout of the map. I did have some help getting to the mall. But that's just fine. I don't consider that cheating or nothing. That's that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to have a map if you're if you're lost in the in the confines of your own city. <laughs> Which really uh you shouldn't be lost. You live there. I think this is the house I tried to burn down. Is this still going? Maybe this isn't the one. But it's open as hell. Oh, locked door. Why this? Hmm, does anybody have a key? Nope, just some beans and some bling. Some bling bling. This Dayton's bling bling, son. Alright, how you doing? One. We are getting really good with that shit. We are uh, getting that blunt accuracy up. Probably the most important skill to level is blunt accuracy. Once I uh, get to 9 or 10, I should be one-shotting zombies while they're still standing up. Is there like a weak point on the skull that uh, I slowly discover after killing 2,000 of them? I'm like, oh, you gotta hit the very top, and then it caves in. If you hit the forehead, that's like the thickest bone in your body. I do know that for a fact. That's why you headbutt people with like the round part of your forehead. So I think it could take a, a baseball bat as well, probably. Maybe one. <laughs> like in The Walking Dead, you know? Glenn was like, smacked in the face, and then he's like, I'm still up. And Negan was super impressed, and everybody was really impressed. And my mom said she cried. But uh, I think she was only crying because everybody else was crying. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, it didn't affect me that bad, but then again, I stopped watching Walking Dead in like season two. And then joined back in once I heard about Negan and all this shit. I'm like, oh, are they finally off that stupid farm? Okay. <laughs> season 2, definitely the worst season. Haven't seen the rest of them. But uh, I, I'll go ahead and confirm that for you right now. You can take my, uh, my shitty advice. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello. Ah, uh, I'm so much more comfortable with uh, just a couple of zombies. It's amazing how only three or four gives me uh, quite a bit of trouble. Binoculars, work gloves, hmm. I wish the binoculars had a, a point to them. Let's rest for a little while. Get rid of that. That nasty, nasty fatigue because, you know, Dayton likes running places. I don't know why he wants to run everywhere. It's like he's trying to level sprinting or something, which never actually levels. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. It's a fact. Okay, we're done. Um, I'm gonna eat some more snackies. Just pick a little from each house you go to. 
That's probably the way to place Project Zomboid. You don't necessarily need a base. It is nice to have a base to to stack all your shit in so you can run around as light as possible. But really, uh, all the stuff that you need is probably in houses. I might do like a, a sort of bandit playthrough. I say bandit playthrough because that's what we called it when we did it in Rust. If you didn't really have a, a majorly huge base, you just kind of ran around and made one by one square shacks. And then uh, there was one square shack that had all of your, your best shit in it. And I did think about doing that near the mall, but uh, too little too late. It's a really long fucking trip over there. Basically one episode just walking to the mall. But uh, it does give me time for creepy pastas, which is nice. I hope you guys are enjoying that as well. Just a little bit something different uh, when I run out of stuff in my mind. I'm like, okay, we'll just read some creepy pasta. That's fine. <clears throat> and I think it turns out okay. What is this, basketball court? Hey, y'all. You want you want to play some hoops? That's what the cool kids do. Oh, close this. Close it. God damn it. Jesus. <laughs> You're not listening at all, are you? Oh. There's some more zombos out in front of the school. You see, because this is what they did in life. So they come back here. And they just uh, don't know where else to do. It's just like in that Homeward story. Just like I told you. That this is what they want to do. They want to go to, to the place that they were. It's some part of their brain that's not yet destroyed. Hearing aid. Oh. We're finding so many disabled zombies. I guess that's why you're a zombie, isn't it? Because you're disabled! I want to see a wheelchair zombie. Although, yeah, wheelchair zombies would probably not use the wheelchair. <laughs> Those are the ones that crawl. They have, like, polio or some shit. Oh my god, speaking of polio, I went and, uh, I went to my girlfriend's mom's house and they have a dog that, that keep relatively hidden. I've not seen it the, the other times I went there. But it's totally, uh, got polio, like its back legs don't work. <laughs> and, you know, the dog doesn't really know, you know, it, it is sad to see it, but, uh, it doesn't seem like the dog even realizes that he has a problem. So I guess it's, it's fine, maybe. <laughs> uh, and then I'm like, oh, it's a cute dog, what's his name? And the mom goes, polio. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. <laughs> She, he has polio, so we call it polio. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so mean. That's that's like if uh, somebody caught AIDS and you just called them AIDS. Your name is AIDS now, because you have AIDS, you know? That dog probably didn't always have polio. I don't know. Maybe it did. <laughs> How does polio work? All I know is like you eat a sugar cube and then you don't get polio. So I've been eating sugar cubes my whole life. <sighs> oh, if only President Roosevelt had known about sugar cubes. God damn it. He probably wouldn't have done such great things if he was like, uh, you know, able to walk and shit. Because if you're not able to walk, then you got like a lot of time. Just a lot of time to think. Hmm. I like how things in here haven't gone as bad. I'm still seeing a lot of uh, boredom and unhappiness in these pineapples. Things have been sitting in in this uh, fridge for quite a while. That ain't good. But oh well. Nothing to really cook here either. I do want to keep leveling my cookings. I like that cooking skills. Hmm. There's cooking for advanced people. That's me. I'm like Gordon Ramsay now, son. I guess a book would be good to carry around. Trigonometry reduces boredom and stress. Yep. It sure does. <sighs> no, it doesn't. Trigonometry is hard as fuck. I spent 15 minutes on this one problem. Although, you know, some people like math. My mom likes math, but obviously that gene didn't get passed down to me. Um, she's like, it's, it's like a problem, you know? It's like a little puzzle that you gotta figure out. And I'm like, it's the shittiest puzzle ever. I hate this puzzle. <laughs> I don't care about solving the puzzle, Alex. Is that, uh, oh no, it's Pat. Pat Sajak does Wheel of Fortune. Uh, Alex Trebek does Jeopardy. I don't watch Wheel of Fortune anymore. I decided that it's a show for trailer trash. <laughs> 
If you can't uh, get any of the Jeopardy questions, then those are the people that watch Wheel of Fortune. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's a fact. That's just a fact. So, I don't watch Wheel of Fortune anymore. I'm pretty good at Jeopardy, although, uh, you know, it's mostly like the pop culture shit that I get. They're like, we have a category about superheroes. I'm like, mm, gonna clean that shit out. <laughs> and then they have like, you know, geography and stuff. And I'm like, oh, I am fucked. I am fucked. What is this? What is this? Oh, he's a carpenter man. Hello, carpenter man. I shall take some of these things with me. He's got five boxes of nails. What the fuck? Don't mind if I do, sir. I don't think we got that many nails when we went to the mall. It was mostly fishing baskets and things like that. But I decided on the fishing baskets mostly because, uh, sustainable food source. Hello? Hello? That shit's gonna be very valuable, I am sure, as the game progresses later and later, and I eat all the donuts and things from this house. Mmm. This ham. That's pretty good ham. I'm gonna take it. It's a lot of hunger and only gives you like a little bit of boredom and unhappiness and I can read my trusty trigonometry textbook, which I didn't bring with me. <laughs> For obvious reasons, because I said I hate it. That's fine. We're just gonna keep going this way. Oh, I guess uh, there's not a door through this house. Okay. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that, dude. We'll just open a window. Open a window, let the air in. And the zombies. Oh my god, bro. Why you shock me like that? <laughs> I only jumped a little bit. He only scared me a little. Although, if you were, like, running through some fucking woods and a zombie popped out, like, yeah. My panic would go through the roof. But this guy's seen a bunch of shit. Little Dayton has seen everything before. He's like, whatever. It's just another one. Don't worry. Mmm, fishing net. Yay! We'll take these nails, too. And the wire. Twine and wire. I didn't realize how important that was. And by the corpse out front, I'd say that I've already been in this house. Oh, yeah! This is the one I slept in. The one with the piano that I destroyed. That's so nice. We can have some nice memberries. You remember Jaja -Ja Binks, you guys? <laughs> oh, God, South Park. Why do you do this to me? They're, they're so funny. Memberries doesn't even really make sense. If you haven't seen it, it's like these uh, these little blue balls. They're, they're memberries. That's why Trump was elected president, or Mr. Garrison was elected president, as the case may be. And, uh, yeah, everybody just wants to go back to a simpler time, so they eat the memberries. And the memberries basically do nothing but say, yeah, you remember, you remember, uh, Darth Sidious, you guys? Oh, that was so cool. Remember Jar Jar Binks? Oh, how about Chewbacca? And everybody's like, yeah, I love Chewbacca. And it's uh, basically a commentary on how there's no original franchises anymore. Uh, everything is just a rehash of a rehash of a rehash. You know, like the Garfield movie, or the Smurfs movie, or any of that other garbage <laughs> that I'm too old to watch. But I guess the reason that they do that is to, like, it's either A, because they don't have any fucking new ideas, or B, to introduce it to a new, uh, a new audience, a new generation of some sort. Um, which I guess is smart, because then you don't have to, you don't have to make anything new. We can use all the old stuff that we had, like, uh, yeah, molds and presses and shit like that, you don't have to reassemble anything you just you just keep making smurfs man you keep making a bunch of fucking smurfs metal work for beginners i guess i should take this i didn't know metal working was a skill or maybe it's a skill that's going to be implemented soon i have seen uh like metal sheets you can cut them into small metal sheets three small metal sheets if you have like a blowtorch or something so maybe that's gonna come in uh at some point although i can't say for sure Ooh, I like these these little rooms. They generally have some good things in here, but not today. <laughs> uh, fishing basket? I don't think it's an actual... Uh, I don't think it's useful. 
I think it just reduces weight. It's like another bag. And a shitty bag at that. So, no thank you, I pass. Hmm, toy cat, toy stereoscope. What's a stereoscope? Is that like that thing that you make circles or something on a paper? And then you're like, oh, look, I made some circles on a paper. It's a geometric design of some sort. And then everybody's really impressed and they're like, did you draw that? And like, you're like, yeah, with the help of some fucking gears or something. Electricity for beginners. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna take these things. I don't necessarily know why. Hmm. Cure hemp buds. Oh yeah. Herbalism should teach me uh, what the good berries and the bad berries are. Trapping for intermediates. I guess I will need this as well. This is good. We haven't been to these houses. We'll just do some more scavenging. Fresh eggs. I'll take some fresh eggs. I don't know how long they're going to be fresh for. But whatever, dude. I don't give a shit. Mm, fresh pumpkin. Eat it. Eat it. And then we got a ham. I'll go ahead and take the watermelon too. Because I'm fat. I'm fat. You know it. You know it. I'm really, really fat. Chamon. Chamon. And that's uh, Weird Al. Weird Al in South Park. God damn. I've gone back to the seventh grade for this episode. <laughs> <sighs> I thought that was the coolest shit when I were a little kid, you know? Maybe we have searched this house. There's a dead zombie over there. There's another dead zombie. And he lives in the grass. He's going to help the grass grow. Or probably not. Because his blood is all rotten and black. Disgusting! Oh, Quran. No, that's the law textbook. We respect the law, but not Sharia law. Ha 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 ha. Oh. You know what else? I'm gonna put some ham on that. Ham on that. Ham on that. <laughs> oh, I've entertained myself. That's my entertainment for the day, everyone. Pack it up. Wrap it in. Let me begin. <laughs> Battle me. That's a sin. Get up. Stand up. Come on, put your hands up. Oh, God. Why did I let her get up? Because I was too busy singing House of Pain. Jump around! We jump around. We jump up, jump up, pick it down. Jump, jump, jump. Ooh. I heard the, the bad noise. I thought there was something sneaking up on me. There's a, a moodle. Oh, there's a zombie. Hello. Lovely to see you. <laughs> and this one drank himself to death in the bathroom. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I did not place that there. He, he just had a hard time. Oh, let's put this on the key ring. We have three keys now. We're a very important person. I should collect the keys because they don't add any weight and it's kind of fun to see how many you can get. Gotta collect them all! House keys. Oh god. Hmm. Not a lot in here for me. That's fine. We're just kind of browsing. Browsing, seeing what might come in handy at some point. And it seems like nothing is ever very handy in these, uh, these bedrooms here. Raincoat, sheets. Okay, sheets are handy. And that's about it. You can play video games, though. I like video games. Let's see if we can find some water purification tablets. That would be quite nice. Tweezers, good for pulling the glass out of your hands if you climb through a window. But I haven't done that in quite a while. I've learned my lesson as far as that goes. Shaving cream, tampon, toothpaste, mmm, nothing here. Mmm, deodorant. Yes, I could use some of that. <sighs> I'm sure. I smell like a wild man. I've been living in the woods, eating nothing but raw fish. <laughs> Rotten pearl is not fun, curl. Juicy sweet. Ooh, hand vacuum, parabellum rounds. Hmm, hmm. There's no gun, though. Where's the gun? Somebody beat me to it. That's okay. I don't need ammo for a gun that I don't have. I mean, I could probably go back to the main base and find a gun that would fit those, those bullets, or those bullets would fit the gun, or vice versa. 
vice versa. Hmm, have we been up this way? I, I don't think so. I don't recognize anything. I don't see any dead zombies. But then, like, I thought there would be a lot more zombies swarming if it's a place that I haven't been yet. You know? You know? Hmm. And this looks like the end of the road up here. That's sad. I'm sad now. Here's another fucking book. I'll just grab all the books. I'll eat some watermelon. Oh, I left my knife? I can't cut my watermelon or ham? That's sad. I wanted to just leave a slice of ham on the Koran, but... Uh, yeah. That's not how it went. I just left the whole thing. I put the ham on the floor, and I just let the Koran sit on top of it. You know? Is that, is that a good idea? Is some people gonna be upset? I hope so. You're upsetting the right people. <laughs> oh, I'm full. Can't eat any ice cream. Oh, I'm so full. I'm so fat. I'm so fat. Nobody loves me. I'm just gonna eat and eat and eat and eat. I don't know if this is a good idea. Go run around in the woods and shit. <clears throat> Probably not the best idea I've had. Oh, here's some more houses. Are these the houses we went to? Doesn't look like it. Looks like a warehouse of some sort. The men's warehouse. You're gonna like the way you look. <laughs> I guarantee it. <laughs> oh god, we've traveled back to the 90s. Early 2000s. What, whenever the fuck that was. I don't know anymore. Everything is just so different now. We didn't have to worry about things like this when I was lethal. And now we do. For some reason. Because the news told me that I did. They said, worry about this thing, and I said, okay, I definitely will. And so far, I, I haven't. I don't concern myself with much of anything. If it doesn't directly affect me, then I'm like, mm, eh. Which, you know, politics are one of those things that do directly affect you. So I don't understand how people can be so nonchalant and be like, eh, French election? That doesn't matter to me. They should have, they should have elected Le Pen. I'll say that right now. I don't care who you are. One, she's hot. <laughs> Two, she's hot. <laughs> and that's about as far as my, my thinking process went there. Right? Right? I mean, that's a good enough reason, right? I think so. <laughs> uh, if Hillary was hotter, we probably would have elected her, you know? <laughs> but Trump, yeah, he's so hot right now. He's so hot right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, everybody, look out. It's coming for you. It's coming for all of us. Hmm, lots of MREs. Lots of boxes of nails. I don't think I'm ever gonna run out of boxes of nails. What a nice little a nice little treat this has been. Am I seeing rain? Rain, rain, go away. Dayton is too far from his house to play with your shit. I ain't gonna play with your shit no more! <laughs> I never wanted you to play with my shit. Please never play with my shit again. Hmm. I wonder if there's like more stuff out here. Look at all this. What the fuck is this pattern? Were aliens here? I don't understand. Oh god. What? What is this? Is it supposed to be a path of some kind? Is it like one of those corn mazes or something? Somebody grew a giant corn maze but that, that it fell into disrepair during the, the Zombocalypse. There are a lot of fucking zombies out here. I don't like that. I want to see what's what's at the edges of the corn maze. Oh, good job. That's a man wearing a locket. <laughs> I guess men can wear lockets. It's not that funny. <laughs> if, if someone near and dear to me was lost, then I would carry their picture in a locket. Probably not put it on my neck, because, you know, a man wearing a heart necklace? Come on, dude. Come on, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do it to your children. Don't do it to us. You know? You gotta, you gotta have some respect for yourself. Now, playing a pink guitar, that's different. 
If y'all didn't know, I play a pink guitar. <laughs> Sometimes. I, I'm not very good at guitar, though. Especially since I don't practice. If you practice every day, you can get really good at guitar. But, uh, Dayton would rather play video games. So, that's why we're, uh, not a guitar channel. We're a gaming channel. Maybe I'll do some of that at some point. Play my own, uh, play my own Musax. I did get my friend Nate, who was, uh, in the band that we had for a little while, to play some music for the, uh... Hmm, I think it was one of my Pokemon video tutorials. I think it's the advanced strategies and tactics for Pokemon battling. And uh, I do appreciate that. Big shout out to Nate. He's my uh, my friend that dropped out of society. Said, I ain't playing this shit no more. <laughs> he went to ride the rails. And uh, I, guess, I guess that's cool if that's what he wants. I do miss him, you know. He's my best friend, and he's like, I gotta go. I don't blame him. <laughs> I don't blame him one bit for wanting to drop out of this shithole of society. I mean, you're still in it, to a point. But, um, yeah. Not really. Not really! You're, you're on the fringes of society now. Which is pretty cool, if you ask me. But Dayton? Mm-mm, Dayton ain't gonna do it. Dayton doesn't. Because he likes his creature comforts. What would I do without the internet? I can't carry my fucking PC around on my back. Riding the train, hopping on and off and all this shit. I can't sit there in the street and play on play on the PC. I mean, I guess I could if I found an outlet or something. But nobody's gonna pay me for that shit. They'll just be like, look at that weird guy. What the weird guy? You know he's playing video games on the street? <laughs> That's the the wealthiest homeless person I've ever seen. My god. There's so many zombies out here. Gotta watch those ones coming from the behind. Get away, bitch. Ooh, brains are good. Hey, you want some of this? You want some of this? Oh god. Oh god. She's crawling. I seem to have broken her legs. I kneecapped that bitch. That's pretty cool. I've never seen a zombie that just uh, started crawling after being hit. So you go walk behind them, boom! Just like that. Don't try to attack the crawlers from the front because they will bite you. I, I'm super surprised. I've never seen that before. Good job, Project Zomboid devs. You, you've done some work, haven't you? Still haven't seen vehicles or NPCs, but I'll take this. <laughs> crawling zombies. Or, they had crawling zombies, but now, now the zombies get hit, and then they start crawling. They're like, my legs, I can't anymore, but I still want to eat. Look at this path. Where do you think this goes? Deep into the woods? I sure hope so. It's gonna be 5 p.m. soon, so we better be careful. I shouldn't go too far down this path, because I need to find a place to settle down. Settle down for the night. My god. How far could it possibly go? See, this is when we need the binoculars. Binoculars. Binoculars? <sighs> I can't words anymore. Look at this. There's a, there's a split in the path. And this is kind of back the way we came a little bit. But I'm still... What the fuck? Maybe we can get back to those houses that I saw earlier and just settle down in one of them. Or maybe we might find a completely different house. I'm okay with that as well. As long as I'm not sleeping in the woods, I'm happy. Again, shout out to Nate. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I miss that kid, I tell you what. He's pretty cool. He tried to teach me how to play guitarsies. And uh, obviously I never, never picked it up that well. But that's okay. It's it's the thought that count, isn't it, guys? I think so. I truly think it is. Hmm. Where, oh where, has my little house gone? Oh where, oh where can it be? With its window sills and its door something. Oh wow. I could build a house. I could build a house with my own bare hands. Do that shit again. Uh-oh. Drowsiness. Hit that energy drink, son. Mmm. 
Monster Energy, because I drink it, and they're paying me for it. Not yet, though. And really, I wouldn't take a sponsor from Monster anyways. I'd be like, hmm, can I talk to the Red Bull people? <laughs> I don't really like your drink that much. Red Bull is, uh, is better. I don't know why. It's just the flavor. Monster's, like, far too... I mean, they're both really fucking sugary. But, uh, Monster has a more... A more tart flavor to it. Which I don't necessarily enjoy all that much. Oh my god. Okay, there's the path that we saw before. I think. So if I just keep going this way, I should hit a house. There it is! Hey, there it is! Nice little house. Little house on the prairie. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was a lame joke. Okay. I should find some sheets or something. I don't want to just settle down. Oh god, there's no sheets. Should I keep going? Should I, should I look for somewhere safer? I guess I should. We're getting back into civilization now. I saw plenty of houses that had sheets, and uh, I survived them all. I don't want to fucking die from a zombie breaking through a window. That would be total crap, dude. There's a broken window in this house, but the zombie be dead, so I think I think that's okay. I'm pretty sure that's fine. Oh, and there's curtains. I don't even need a sheet, bro. That's nice. I like that a lot. Let's see uh, trapping. Do we need trapping for intermediates? Electricity for beginners, I think, is the most uh, most feasible thing. Yes, yes. Oh no, we don't even need electricity. We're we're on level three and four. God damn it. Okay, I'm gonna burn this book later. <laughs> How about metal work for beginners? Yes. A sodium oxide and sodium chloride cannot be mixed. If you if you're trying to weld something, you have to use this certain type of metal to weld these two types of metals because otherwise the the thing doesn't stick together, and that's that's how welding works. Please see chapter four for more information. Etc. Etc. All right, we'll read some more of this tomorrow. This is putting me to sleep for sure. <laughs> Anyways, friends, this has been Project Zomboid. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. 1,324 zombies killed, and we're gonna keep it going. What? What? <laughs> I hope that you like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy the video, friends. Oh, I should close these before I uh before I get eaten in my sleep, and that would be a pretty short episode. <laughs> If you see a five-minute episode, that's what happens. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. All that stuff helps the channel get out there, uh, which is super important because I love seeing my subscriber numbers go up. I love seeing them little comments and replying, especially if they comment something nice. Uh, sometimes they're, you know, douchebag comments. Your voice is annoying. It's like, well, nobody's, nobody's forcing you to watch it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, friends, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.